Jianluka Farako is a postdoc at uh, Indian Institute of Science Bangalore and he will be talking about periods of metamorphic abelian deficiencies. So Luca up to you. Okay, thanks Arpan for the introduction and let me thanks the organizer for giving me the opportunity to deliver this talk here in this amazing math festival. And I'm going to discuss a part of an ongoing joint work with Shubhajay Gupta. And this work is somehow related with some topic cover, already covered by Shubhajay yesterday. But this is a result which is also interesting on its own right. And so I will discuss here. Okay, so let me in, I start introducing the main object. So uh, SGN will denote a surface with G endos and N punctures, and the surface is also seem to be connected, oriented, and uh, of hyperbolic type. That means the all the characteristic is negative. So as the name suggests, the uh, Riemann surface is the datum of a topological surface along with a one-dimensional complex structure. So we have charts taking values on C and transition functions are restrictions of biomorphism on their domain of definitions. Uh, by the Abelian differential on a Riemann surface, instead we mean an holomorphic one form. That means this is an assignment of holomorphic function to each local coordinate in such a way as that this is invariantly defined. And for any fixed Riemann surface X, we define omega X, this vector space of Abelian differential over the Riemann surface, whereas omega and GN will denote a much bigger space is the set of all possible couples where X is a Riemann surface is omega, again, is a Nabilian differential. So, oh, sorry. Um, fix a Riemann surface and pick a Nabilian differential, omega. And uh, omega is an holomorphic one form. And then as such, it can be integrated along any closed curve. And then we may define a mapping, an association, that takes each curve gamma to the complex number defined by the integration of omega long gamma. And uh, such an association turns out a well-defined representation from the first homology group with integer coefficients to the additive group of complex numbers. And this character, this, uh, sorry, this representation is called period character of omega. This can be thought like an um, object naturally attached to the B and differential. Well, we can define now another mapping called period, map, period mapping. And here is denoted by PR in bold from the global space omega and GN to the whole space of representations from the first homology group with integer coefficients to the additive group of complex numbers, mapping each couple X omega to the representation chi defined by the integration of omega along each, uh, along closed curves gamma. So we have this mapping that it sounds natural uh, to ask who the image of such a mapping is. So in other words, suppose we are given with a representation from the first homology group to C, uh, does it arise as the period character of some abelian differential with respect to some complex structure X? Uh, this is the question we would like to answer. And let me uh, state before the, the, the theory that what happens for closed surfaces and for this case, we go back to one centenary ago because out in 1920 provides necessary sufficient conditions for a character chi to appear as the period of some abelian differential, omega, with respect to some complex structure X on the closed surface. And out prove this theorem using some geometric and elementary, an elementary argument, let's say, but the same theorem has been recently rediscovered by Misha Kapovitz around 2000, but his proof relies on Ratner's theory, so and it's a, another connection between geometry and ergodic theory. By the way, uh, the condition, provide, so what I'd notice is that a character chi appears, so there are basically two abstractions for a character, a character chi to be the period of an abelian differential. The first is that such a quantity, which is a, comp, which is a real number, has to be strictly positive, with respect to some standard symplectic basis. And this quantity is called volume of chi. 
Um, terminology is not casual. There is a, I mean, the study is very well motivated, but I give you the motivation later because uh, using this point, of, from this point of view, it might sound so unclear why we call this a uh, number volume. And so let me consider then the second condition, which actually applies to a special family of representations, namely those representations whose image is a lattice in C. In this case, we need a further requirement that the volume of chi is at least two times the area of C mod gamma, uh, mod lambda, sorry. And as I said, these are necessary condition, necessary and sufficient conditions. So for closed surface of uh, the image of the period mapping defined here when n is zero is completely determined and characterized. So what happens for puncture surfaces? What we have shown with Shubojo is that every representation chi appears as the period character for some beyond differential omega with respect to some complex structure X. And so the picture is changed completely because now there are no conditions. So uh, it's, uh, it's classical that any Riemann surface or a puncture surface, so let's say a puncture Riemann surface, extends to a Riemann surface on a closed surface as G. And this is basically uh, an application of the Riemann extension theorem, because if you pick any puncture and a uh, small open neighborhood of such a puncture, this is biomorphic to the puncture disk. And you, this chart, you now Riemann extension theorems applies and this chart can be extended over zero. And then you have an holomorphic function over the unite disk. And you use this function for doing this disk. Then what you are doing, you are feeding the puncture. You do the same argument for all the puncture. You get a closed surface, a closed surface with a, Riemann, with a complex structure, X bar, who extends X. This can always be done, but if you pick an abelian differential in omega x, this extends to a meromorphic abelian differential omega bar on x bar. Because some of the pole, so I'm sorry, some of the punctures may appear as pole of, the, of this abelian differential. And so if you adopt if you, from this new light, uh, what our theorem says is that any representation chi appears as the period of a meromorphic abelian differential omega bar for some complex structures bar on SG. And notice that here the surface is closed but the representation is taken from the first homology group of a puncture surface. Because when you have a meromorphic differential, uh, there is at least one pole. And so if you compute this integral, suppose here the omega is meromorphic and gamma is a closed curve enclosing one pole, the value of the integral may be uh, very well different from zero because this is the residue. And so you have a contractible curve, and the period of this contractible curve is different to zero. So this association is no longer uh, an homomorphism. We bypass this problem by removing all the poles. In this case, you have a puncture surface, and now this association is a well-defined representation. So this is the reason why, even if the surface is closed, we consider character from a puncture surface. How do we prove this uh, result? So, uh, we adopt a geometrical point of view, and then I need to introduce quite short translation structures. If you are so, if you are familiar with the language of geometric structures, so uh, this kind of definition is, is not difficult for you. So, a translation structure is an atlas of charts of the form z goes to z to the power k, where k could be greater than one. So, this means that some charts are not local homomorphism, but they are simple branch coverings around. A uh, discrete set of points. A chart takes values on E2, and transition functions are translations in E2. So this, trans this translation can be identified with an element of C. In the case you are not familiar with, the, in the, with geometric structures, you can think of translation structures like uh, the surface that you get from a polygon on E2, and where you identify, where you identify the size using translation. So consider this picture here. This is an L shape in, in E2. This is a, an, an octagon where some sides are aligned. And you can identify one with one, two, and two, three, three, and four, four using translation like the arrows indicate. And when all the identifications are done, you get a closed surface of genus two. And all the black points identifies to a unique point, which is, uh, let me say, somehow bigger. Bigger because, um, 
I am not going through the detail of what bigger means, but the point is that around such this point, each local chart fails to be a local homomorphism and has this form where k is a, at least two. In this particular example, k turns down to be three because if you sum the inner angles, you get a point of angle six pi and then this means that k is three. But anyway, you can think translation structures like uh, also polygon something that you get by doing sides of polygon via translations. There is a, uh, is a uh, sorry, from the complex analytical point of view, a translation structure is a couple, X omega, where X is a Riemann surface and omega, again, is a, an abelian differential. And that is that a translation structure is a geometric structure and as such, it defines a representation it's such a representation somehow in code data of the geometry. And for the very specific case of translation structures, what we have again is a representation from the first homology group into C. So, uh, sorry, representation in, this, in the representation space, in this representation space, may have a twofold role. They play two roles. They could appear as the period of some as the period character of some abelian differential omega, or they could be the allonomy of some translation structure on the surface. It happens that a representation chi appear as the period character of some abelian differential omega on X, even though, with respect to some complex structure X, even though if it arises the allonomy of some translation structure. And so in the case of closed surfaces, uh, a representation chi is the allonomy of a translation structures if and only if these conditions are satisfied. And now I can tell you what volume means. So suppose that a representation chi is the period of a sum of billion differential, then is also the allonomy of a translation structure on the, on the surface. And as such, this, this, this geometric structure as a volume, as an area. And the area is represented by exactly this quantity. And for closed surfaces, it happens that you have a translation structure, uh, positive area is uh, something needed. You can get rid of this condition. So the requirement volume to be positive can be easily explained using translation structures. And also the second condition has a very geometrical interpretation, but I don't think I have enough time for going through this condition, but uh, it can be explained very uh, clearly by using translation structures. So, uh, based the, this uh, characterization is the point of view of the proof for our, of the theorem that uh, should join me. From a representation chi, what we have done is we have found a translation structures having chi as the allonomy. And once the transition structure is found, then you have an abelian differential, which extends to a meromorphic abelian differential on the closed surface. So, chi in general, as a solonomy of, of a geometric structure, is not, uh, is not sufficient for determining a unique geometric structure. So, in general, if you want to recover a geometric structure starting from a representation, uh, there are some choices. You have to, there are some choices are needed, and the structure that you get depends. But so this, uh, this property somehow gives us the right freedom, the enough freedom for finding translation structure for any given representation. So also if we take the trivial representation, we are able to find a translation structure on an open surface, not closed, of course. And uh, so there is a million difference, difference associated to that structure. Uh, so due to the, I think the lack of time, I can explain properly well, the techniques we have used, starting from a representation for the termina translation structure. And so for this reason is I'm going to stop here. Thanks. Thank you, Luca. Thank you very much. So